Have you ever wondered about the world of Komodo dragons? Those colossal, ancient creatures that seem to defy the hands of time. Picture these behemoths, lumbering across their sun-drenched habitat. The Indonesian islands of Komodo, Rinka, Flores and Gili Motang. The Komodo dragon, or Varanus komodoensis, as it is scientifically known, is truly a wonder of the natural world. It's not merely the largest lizard species alive today, but a relic of a bygone era, a living, breathing testament to our planet's prehistoric past. When we say these dragons are big, we mean it. They can reach lengths of up to 10 feet and tip the scales at a staggering 300 pounds. That's the weight of an average adult male lion. But the Komodo dragon isn't just about size. It's also about survival, resilience, and a unique role in the grand tapestry of life on Earth. These behemoths are not just the biggest, but also the heaviest lizards on Earth. They're apex predators, rulers of their domain. Their diet is as large as they are. They eat everything from birds to water buffaloes and yes, even their own kind. Their habitat, the dry open grasslands, savannas and tropical forests of a few Indonesian islands is as unique as they are. They've evolved to thrive in these harsh environments, demonstrating a remarkable adaptability that's as much a part of their identity as their formidable size. But what makes the Komodo dragon truly fascinating is its ancient lineage. These creatures are relics, descendants of a line of giant monitor lizards that roamed the earth around four million years ago. They've outlived countless species, weathered the trials and tribulations of millions of years, and continue to thrive today, a testament to their resilience and adaptability. With a lineage dating back millions of years, the Komodo dragon continues to captivate with its sheer power and mystique. As we delve deeper into the world of these amazing creatures, we'll discover just what makes them one of the most intriguing and formidable inhabitants of our planet. Stay tuned as we continue our journey into the realm of the Komodo dragon. Imagine waking up as a Komodo dragon. What would a day look like in their scaly shoes? Well, as dawn breaks, our Komodo dragon will stir from its slumber, emerging from its burrow or a crevice in the rocks where it had slept the night away. The first order of the day is a good stretch and a bask in the morning sun, warming up their cold-blooded bodies for the day's activities. Now it's time for breakfast. The Komodo dragon is a carnivorous creature, known for its voracious appetite. It can eat up to 80% of its body weight in a single meal. Its diet is diverse, ranging from smaller creatures like birds and rodents to large ungulates and even its own kind. Yes, you heard that right, these dragons are cannibalistic by nature. When it comes to hunting, the Komodo dragon is a patient predator. It will lie in wait, perfectly still, blending into its surroundings, until an unsuspecting prey comes close enough. Then, in a swift, sudden movement, it will strike, taking down the prey with its powerful jaws. Its saliva is teeming with over 50 strains of bacteria, which helps to bring down larger prey that managed to escape the initial attack, eventually succumbing to infection. After a hearty meal, the dragon might spend the rest of the day lounging around, digesting its food. But don't be fooled by its lazy demeanor. The Komodo dragon is fiercely territorial and will not hesitate to defend its home from intruders, be it another dragon or a different species altogether. As the sun sets, the dragon will retreat to its lair, ready to rest and recharge for another day of hunting, eating and defending its territory. The life of a Komodo dragon isn't easy, but it's a life that these magnificent creatures have mastered over millions of years. From sunup to sundown, the Komodo dragon is a solitary and efficient survivor, thriving in its harsh environment. In the world of Komodo dragons, it's survival of the fittest, but what happens when two of these titans clash? Imagine the scene, two mighty Komodo dragons, each a daunting seven feet long, lock eyes. Their forked tongues flicker out, tasting the tension in the air. This is not a friendly encounter. It's a battle for territory, for dominance, for survival. Let's delve into the power dynamics of this primal clash. The Komodo dragon, despite its heavy, lumbering appearance, is surprisingly agile. Capable of swift, sudden movements, it's a formidable opponent, with a thick, armor-like hide, sharp claws, and a muscular tail that can deliver a bone-crushing whip. It's no wonder this creature is the apex predator of its environment. But the true horror lies in the dragon's bite. Its mouth houses a deadly cocktail of venom and bacteria. A single bite can lead to paralysis, uncontrollable bleeding, and eventually, 
death. When two dragons fight, they aim for the underside, the only area not protected by the tough, scaly hide. It's a deadly dance, a game of precision, power, and patience. The fight is not just a show of brute strength, but also a strategic battle. Each dragon watches its opponent, learns its movements, and waits for the perfect moment to strike. It's a test of endurance as well. These battles can last for hours, the victor often being the one who can outlast the other. But these battles are not without risk. Injuries are common, and sometimes they can be fatal. A single misstep, a moment's distraction, can turn the tide of the battle. The stakes are high, the margin for error, slim. In the brutal world of Komodo dragons, strength and strategy determine who will be the victor. Each battle is a reminder of the raw, untamed power of nature, of the primal instincts that drive these creatures, and of the unforgiving, relentless struggle for survival. Here, in the realm of the Komodo dragon, it's not just about who's the strongest, but also who's the smartest, the most patient, the most relentless. It's a harsh reality, but it's the law of the land, only the fittest survive. Humans and Komodo dragons have a complex relationship, but what happens when these two worlds collide? The Komodo dragon, a creature of awe and trepidation, shares its world with humans in a delicate dance of coexistence. We're drawn to their mystique, their primordial allure, and the sheer power they command. Yet this fascination isn't without its risks. Imagine venturing into the wild, stepping onto the sandy beaches of the Komodo Islands. There, in the distance, a dragon stands, its gaze fixed on you. It's a thrilling yet chilling experience. However, these encounters can be fraught with danger. Komodo dragons, while mostly calm, can be unpredictable. When threatened, their powerful jaws and venomous bite can inflict serious harm. Tourists flock to these islands, eager for a glimpse of these magnificent beasts. Yet it's crucial to remember that we're guests in their home. Disturbing a dragon or encroaching on its territory can have severe consequences. Yet our relationship with Komodo dragons isn't solely defined by fear. It's also marked by a deep-rooted respect and a commitment to their survival. These dragons are a protected species, their existence threatened by habitat loss and human encroachment. Conservation efforts are in place to ensure their survival, with limits on tourism and strict rules to safeguard their natural habitat. The Komodo National Park, for instance, is a beacon of hope. Here, dragons roam freely, monitored by dedicated conservationists. Their mission? To strike a balance between human curiosity and the dragon's well-being. Our shared existence with the Komodo dragon is a delicate balance. On the one hand, we're captivated by their raw, unfiltered power. On the other, we're tasked with the responsibility of ensuring their survival. It's a compelling paradox, one that underscores the intricate dance between humans and nature. As we strive to coexist with these magnificent beasts, it becomes clear that respect and caution are paramount. The Komodo dragon has stood the test of time, but what does the future hold for this prehistoric survivor? As we walk alongside the shifting sands of time, we find ourselves sharing this world with creatures of an age long past. One such creature is the Komodo dragon, a living relic from a world that once was. But as we look to the horizon, we can't help but ask, what does the future hold for these magnificent beasts? The Komodo dragon, like many other species on our planet, faces a myriad of challenges. Climate change, a spectre that looms over us all, poses a significant threat. Rising temperatures and sea levels could spell disaster for the Komodo's island habitats, while changes in weather patterns may impact their food sources. Habitat loss, another pressing issue, is depriving these dragons of the space they need to thrive. As we continue to encroach upon their territories for our needs, we push these creatures further into the fringes, creating a domino effect that's hard to reverse. But it's not all doom and gloom. There are glimmers of hope in this seemingly bleak landscape. Zoos and conservation organizations around the globe are stepping up to the plate, dedicating themselves to the survival of the Komodo dragon. These institutions provide a sanctuary for Komodo dragons, breeding them in captivity to ensure their lineage continues and conducting research to better understand their needs. Moreover, initiatives aimed at habitat restoration and protection are gaining momentum. These efforts, coupled with increased awareness and advocacy, are pivotal in securing a future for the Komodo dragon. 
In this dance of survival, we are not mere spectators, but active participants. Our actions, our choices, they all matter. And it's up to us to ensure that these prehistoric survivors have a fighting chance against the odds. In a rapidly changing world, the enduring Komodo dragon serves as a powerful reminder of our planet's prehistoric past and the need to protect its future.